Hi hey everyone, this is Emmy, and I've had several people email me asking for a pattern for the chunky slippers in children's size. And so I'm going to do a slipper for children sizes 5 to 8 years. Now this video assumes you already know how to crochet. If not, you can watch my video, Learn How to Crochet. So we're going to chain two. And in the second stitch from the hook, I'm going to make seven single crochet. So one, two, three, four. And again, if you crochet over the tail of your yarn end, if you keep it alongside of the, the uh, ring that you're working in. When you're finished your work you can then pull on this yarn end and close up the hole at the front of the slipper. Five, six, and seven. And we're going to slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Make one single crochet in the first stitch beside the hook. Now we're going to make two single crochets in every stitch around. And that gives us 14 stitches, and we're going to slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in every stitch around. We don't crochet in this stitch because this chain one takes the place of that stitch. So we're going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. And you'll see that after this row, the work will begin to form a cup. And at the end of the row, I'm going to slip stitch to join. So you can see that it's beginning to form a cup. Okay, chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across. And slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch around. slip stitch to join. Now the average uh, five to eight year old has a foot length of about seven inches. So we're going to continue making this foot section until this is about three and a half inches long. So I can see we probably need another couple of rows. So we've slip stitched to join. We have chained one and turned and we're making one single crochet in each stitch around. And we slip stitch to join. Our work is measuring three inches and so I'm going to add one more row. 
So I'm going to chain one and turn and single crochet across the row. slip stitch to join. Okay, so that's the toe end of the slipper. So now we're going to begin making the sides and the back. So we're going to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around, And we're at the end of the row. When we get here, we do not slip stitch to join. We're just going to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. chain one and turn. So we're just going to keep repeating that row. So I'm just going to go off camera and do that until we reach the end of the slipper. Okay, I've now worked enough rows that uh, this entire slipper measures seven inches. So now we're going to bring the two sides together where we've just been working and we're going to slip stitch to join this back seam. And to slip stitch we simply pass the hook through both sides of the, of the work and we pull a slip stitch right through. We just match the stitches as we go down the back and slip stitch to close up the back of the slipper. Like that. And then we can fasten off. This yarn end should be woven into a yarn needle and then just back and forth through the back of the slipper. Now you can leave this seam on the outside if you like or you can turn the slipper inside out and have that on the inside. So here's the toe end of the slipper and as I mentioned if you work over that yarn end, we have a hole here now, but now I can pull that totally closed like that and then you thread the yarn ends into a needle Pull this closed again and then just take several stitches in one direction and then back in the opposite direction like that and then you can just trim that yarn end and we'll do the same thing in the back section of the slipper. So this is how this finished slipper looks. And you can check in the text below this video and I have um, the video tutorial on how to make loopy yarn flowers. So you could make a loopy yarn flower and place it on the side or place it right on the front of the slipper. And I have one here in white. Should be a cute little girly slipper. And I've just got one other one here that I've made in black make the same slippers for all your children and just make a different uh, flower for each one so they'd know which slippers are theirs.